Hi friends! Today's episode is full of rustic Christmas ornaments and one DIY disaster that I try to fix and it doesn't help. Let's jump in. For this ornament we're going to be making a rustic Santa and this is really easy. We're just going to take a cinnamon stick, we're going to take some red chalk paint, red acrylic paint will work fine too, paint the top for his Santa hat and then I took a sharpie and I created some little eyes, just some little dots, nothing fancy and then I'm going to take some white puff paint. I get mine at Hobby Lobby, you can I think buy this at Walmart as well and an on Amazon and I will link it a link down in my description box and then you're just going to cover the top like the part of the top of the Santa hat and then you're going to kind of go around his little eyes to create a face shape and then you're going to go down the length of the cinnamon stick now you're not going to cover the whole cinnamon stick because we're making a beard here and then you're just going to add some twine at the top for a hanger and then here it is styled in some decor but the fire keeps us warm We can spend the night Underneath the mistletoe And I've gotten you a present That I put under the tree for this ornament we're going to make a twine angel and this one is my favorite of the day. This was really easy to make. I just took um, some twine, this came from the Dollar Tree, and I wrapped it around my hand to give it kind of like a loop. Then I'm going to take a wooden bead. I got mine from Amazon and I will link those down in the description box. I'm just going to put some hot glue on one end and glue it to like the underside of the twine. Then I'm going to wrap it around so that the bead ends up being the angel's head. And then I just take another piece of twine and I'm going to wrap that around the bead and tie it off to make the head part. You're just going to add some more uh, glue up at the top underneath the twine so that the hair attaches a little bit better to the bead. That's optional if you had enough um, hot glue on there to begin with and you wouldn't need to do that step. So once I get that tied off, then I'm going to take some pit berries. Mine came from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to wrap them into angel wing type shape. Um, you can use anything here. Ribbon would be cute too if you don't have any of the pit berries. And Anything that you can make into some angel wings. I just used the pit parries to kind of go around each other to form the wings and then I'm going to take some hot glue and I'm going to glue the angel to the middle of the pit berries and that is it for this project. It's super simple um, but it is so cute and I just added a little bit of a twine hanger to the back to hang it on the tree and here it is styled in some decor. Tomorrow it is Christmas the first for you and me the snow is falling down and the storm is on its way but as long as you're around everything will be okay Cause all I want hi friends are you enjoying today's video i hope so i had a lot of fun making these and if you're enjoying it as much as i did i hope you'll go down and hit the like button so my video can be seen by other people for this ornament, we're going to create a burlap mitten. This was really easy. I just cut out a burlap mitten from, or not a burlap mitten, but a mitten template from some cardboard, and then I'm going to trace it around on my burlap. Now, depending on how large your uh, burlap is, you could make really large ones of these if you wanted, um, but these were supposed to be ornaments, so my burlap actually did come from the Dollar Tree, but I'll link some burlap options down in the description box. So I took some red twine that I got at the Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to sew around the two pieces of the shape. Now, because these are kind of frayed on the edges, you just have to make sure that you go in a little bit, that way it doesn't totally come out. If you don't want to do this sewing piece, you could also glue these two together. Then I'm using some hot glue and I'm going to add some ribbon to the top to give it kind of the mitten look like we had a cinched up part by our um, wrist. Then I took some greenery and I'm just going to glue that to the middle and this little rusty bell that I picked up at Hobby Lobby I'm going to glue that into the middle as well. Add some twine to the back for a, a hanger and then here it is styled in some decor. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for me and you. I've longed for this moment to have you for my 
This ornament is going to be a twine star. You could do this for any shape that you liked. I cut mine out of an old um, Amazon Prime box. Did you guys order on Prime Day? Let me know if you took advantage of that. I definitely did. I was at a conference for school, so I ordered a lot of school things, but I did get a couple craft supplies for this channel as well. Let me know what you ordered down in the comments below. So I had to take my box together a little bit and then I just poked a hole in the top for the hanger. I did that first because as we start wrapping our twine around, we're going to want to cover all of those spaces and so we want to make sure we have a hanger before we start. So this is just up to your preference really. I wrapped um, a certain amount, like just, I kind of eyeballed it. I didn't really um, keep track of how many times I went around. I just added some hot glue to my cardboard and then I would wrap around and make sure that my twine went into the glue. Then I would go a different direction and wrap my twine that way until it was getting a little bit too bulky. So the middle of this is going to be kind of bulky, but the rest of it will be, um, it just, as you go around, it gets bulkier, I guess it will say. This twine is really thin. It came from the Dollar Tree. So depending on the kind of twine, if you get it from Walmart or somewhere like that, it might be a little bit thicker. So once I get that all wrapped around and I didn't have any rhyme or reason to how I put it on there because this was supposed to be rustic, um, if you wanted certain like design then you got to map that out before you do it. Then I took some ribbon that I also got at the Dollar Tree, made one of those awareness bows, glued it to the top, added a button, and here it is dialed in some decor. But the fire keeps us warm, we can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. So for this project, we're going to create a pine, corn, pine cone ornament. This is really easy. I just picked up some pine cones at a garage sale. I know that the Dollar Tree sometimes sells really large pine cones. Or a lot of times at um, Hobby Lobby, they'll have pine cones as well. Or you can also seem to find these a lot at garage sales or thrift stores, so now is the time to find them if you like to craft with them. I tied some twine up at the top just to make it as my holder, made another awareness bow, glued that in front of my holder, and then I'm going to add a ribbon. Um, my ribbon did come from the Dollar Tree, and then I'm just going to um, clip off the edges to make a... A dovetail and then I took one of these little berries and I'm going to glue that little berry into the middle of my bow and here it is styled in some decor. For this ornament we're going to make a twine wreath and I picked up these hoops from Amazon. They were in like a package of 12. I know that they sm sell a little bit smaller ones as well. I will link these down in my description box if you want to check them out. I left the hoops together. You could also take them apart and only use one piece. You could even use the inside of the hoop and that way you don't have the metal part showing. I was okay with the metal part showing but if you don't want that to show you can definitely do the inside ring and you won't have that piece. Once I had it all wrapped with my twine, then I just took this greenery pick from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to go ahead and glue that on to where the metal piece was. So I just took this pick, it had several pieces to it, I took it all apart, glued the greenery up there, and then I'm going to play around a little bit with the berries just so that I can get them into the greenery the way that I like them. So once I get those glued on to the greenery piece, then I decide that this hoop needs a bow since it's supposed to be a wreath I thought it needed a little bow. So I took some ribbon and I made a little shoelace bow, tied it in the middle with some twine and then I'm just going to go ahead and glue that into the middle. I'm going to take another one of those berries, glue that into the middle of my bow and then here it is styled in some decor. So 
So in the introduction, I promised you a DIY disaster and here we are. So this was supposed to be a stocking that was wrapped in twine and I have a cardboard cut out of a stocking. Um, I just, however, did not cut out a very good stocking shape. <laughs> so once I got the twine all wrapped around my stocking, it really just did not look like a stocking. So I tried to save it by adding some embellishments. I added some ribbon here thinking, okay, if I add that to the top, it'll look like the top of it. I should have used a wider ribbon in and as we continued on this little journey of saving this sad stocking it just kind of continued to get worse so I added a bow and a button and by the time I've added the bow and button it really doesn't look like a stocking and once I hung it on the tree it absolutely did not look like a stocking at all <laughs> so then I decided it kind of looks like a horse and so as I styled it I tried to kind of style it as a horse but honestly I'm not sure it looks like either one of those things let me know down in the comments what you think it actually looks like and I just left it in here to remind you that not all projects turn out and that's okay because you can always get rid of it or do it over. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. If you're wanting some more Christmas inspiration and you missed my latest video, check out my shabby farmhouse DIYs here. And if you're wanting some more Christmas ornament inspiration, check out this video here. As always, wherever you are in your journey is a perfect place to start. And I will see you in my next video. Now go get crafting. Bye friends.